And we're going to set up our first sound. Just get something fairly rough. And then to be able to do that with these guys, because we've only got one set of oscillators and one envelope and one amplifier, is we're just going to duplicate the channel so that we've got two copies of the same synth. And what we're going to do is adjust the second one. So we'll just get both of these playing at the same time. Just bring the volume of those guys down a tiny bit. And due to the fact that our tune control won't give us the amount of control that we're after. What we're actually going to do is just on our second channel, so we're going to get one of the Ableton MIDI effects, the pitch effect, and we're going to drag that before the synth, and we're going to lift this one up by 12 semitones, or a whole octave. So, as you can hear, that second one's giving us a higher sound than the first one. much like what we did with the Moog modular before. And then it's simply a matter of grabbing hold of the envelopes of our second one. Again, a bit of attack, a bit of decay, a little bit of sustain, and we won't worry about any release. A bit more attack on that one. Might help if we actually have the envelope controlling the amplifier on this one. Just bring our sustain all the way up, just so you can hear this a little better. As you can hear, much like what we had happening previously, it starts out just with the lower sound, and then the higher sound comes in over the top. And we can also use the same envelope trick on the first synth, on the filter. So we we'll just set this one up so that our envelope is affecting our filter frequency. And we'll add some similar envelope settings in there as we did with our second synth. And as you can hear, if we just listen to the first one, we've now got that same rising frequency on the filter that we had with the Moog Modular. So even if you don't have one big synth, you can still try out these different effects. As I said, these TAL synths are available for free from the TAL website and are quite good, especially the Uno 60 and the Uno 62, two of my favourites.